Hello, I'm Dale Petrock, and uh, I took some time the last week to check out the, how the EC tuner worked on my uh, Bagara BMR and wanted to get a sense of how consistent it could work with the uh, Norm Attack 22. And so I took two separate days and shot the videos of the targets and and how I set the tuner up and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that video of the shooting will follow if you want to watch it, at least for day one and probably not for day two, but I can get day two if somebody really wants to see it. Uh, on day one, I set it up and initially sighted in the tuner set at zero so that I could get a sense of where it was for a baseline. Now it tends to, the rifle tends to shoot a little better with the tuner um, than without it. So baseline at zero is actually a pretty good point and it's a contender when you look at all the available options um, and we'll get to that later. But it looks like zero, 10 and 16 kind of stand out. And so zero is a baseline and I wanted to see where from there the impact on the targets were with the various uh, tuner settings. Um, so I sighted it in with 10 or on zero and you'll see the zero across the bottom are the the five five shot reference groups. They averaged overall um, 0 0.530. It was 5.797, 4. Point, I'm sorry my cat seems to think this is a fun time to join in. 4.425, 4366, 0 0.495, and 0 0.766 for an overall average of 0 0.530. And so that was the reference point. We wanted to beat 0 0.530 essentially for an average. And so we started off, as you can see, tuner setting 2 is quite high compared to where a 0 is. So these three shot groups here, there's there's horizontal dis, uh dispersion we have tutor setting four here six eight ten and then i reshot those because they were so high and on clear so we see two again here four six eight and then move back to ten and then i for some reason can't count for crap so um 12 14 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. So those were the settings I used to test and um, it looked again like 0, 10, and 16 stood out. So on the very first day I shot a target, an ARA target, using zero and it had a score of 1735 with zero X's and I shot using 10 and zero a USB target on this side these 10 are set at zero and on this side these 10 are set at 10 or the other way around sorry this is 10 and this is zero and the scores for those 10 that were set at tuner setting 10 was 74 and those that were set at zero were 86 and so those two in particular seem to be kind of the leaders with after day one my thinking that um, settings for zero we're going to probably be the winner overall so i waited a couple days and then went back out and shot a series of groups this first row are ciders and then i shot um, with tuner setting zero these five right here these four right here 
And so we had a flyer on the first one, which put that group at 0.725. The other part of the group was 0 0.534. We 558, 725 with a flyer, three point, and 619 for an overall, including the flyers of 657. And then you'll see in the video that I have a, a return to battery um, bag rider in the rear and so I shot it without the bag rider for these two just to see how they compared 0.681.542 for an overall average of those two of 6.12 I then shot it set at 10 same kind of thing cider up here and the five in a four in a row were 0.445 0 0.420 had a wild one there. I don't know what happened with that group. 0 0.860 and then 0 0.534 for an average of 0 0.565. Without the bag rider, we saw 5.545 and 0 0.574 for an overall of 0 0.560. And then because 16 had initially been a contender but seemed to be erratic, I thought I'd just test it as I had time. Here was a cider which showed a great deal of promise. But then when I put the target into play, uh, 0 0.865, 0 0.590, 0 0.644, 0 0.645 for an overall of 0.686. And it's very similar or larger with the out the bag rider. So at this point it appeared that um, 0 and 1 continued, or 0 and 10 continued to be the leader. So then I shot an ARA target with the the settings at 10, 0, and 1. Here's the setting for 10. 10 had a score of 22, 25, and I didn't count X's for this, so I don't didn't kind of have that number in this particular case. But uh, again, 22, 25. Zero ended up coming in second at 18.85 and 16 came in last with 16.20 any close to anything scores were marked or plugged using a ARA plug from uh, online using either my 10 power magnifier or my uh, phone for a magnifier with a light when I needed that just for comparison I shot that initial zero target um, on the first day with an ARA target, it had a score of 1735, and on the second day, uh, zero had a score of 1885. So they are relatively consistent. The group sizes kind of can maintain consistency. And interestingly enough, setting 10 in particular has shown up in more than one occasion with TAC 22 ammo on that EC tuner. And so, um, for now, for practice, which is what the TAC-22 is used for, the EC tuner uh, seems to be setting 10 uh, that kind of stands out. It also um, is consistent across several lots in terms of a better one. This lot that I'm using right now, which is 61-something, um, doesn't seem to be a particularly good lot. Um, I've had much better lots, and I've had some worse. So in this particular case, this example really points out in terms of with a mediocre lot of TAC-22 that the EC Tuner A makes a difference uh, and B um, really can kind of assist with helping tame some of the wildness that can come from the, in, the variability in those loads. Um, again, if you want to, the first day shooting will be presented right after I probably will speed it up because um, it, it's dull to watch. Um, but if there's other interest in seeing day two or the others were shot, 
certainly let me know in the comments and I will um, add it as well. Thank you.
Look at you.